Hi everyone, it's Jason here from the Centre for Computing History. Um, and um, anybody that might know me or the museum might know that I'm involved in uh, TV and film uh, work um, supplying retro monitors like these ones behind us uh, and old TVs and that kind of thing um, to the TV and film industry for use on set. Um, and I had a contact uh, from somebody fairly recently um, saying that they had a number of old CRT screens um, that they needed to get rid of um, and would I be interested? Now, being the type of person I am, um, I don't turn these things down and uh, basically went to have a look and see what there was. And what there was quite surprised me. Um, I thought there might be a few. Uh, turned out to be quite a lot more than I thought. Uh, so um, I'm going to show you a bit of footage that uh, we took uh, while I was there, um, just having a look through some of these old TVs. And uh, yeah, it's quite amazing. So let's uh, take a look um, at uh, CRT Mountain. Wow, never seen anything quite like it. Such a shame they're in this sort of condition, but I mean, absolute state some of these. So some of these have been necked. Um, the back of the tube is completely smashed off. Um, so that tube will never work again. But the thing is with these is that quite a lot of old TVs and computer monitors and um, arcade machine monitors, that kind of thing, um, they have um, components in them that are now no longer produced. So this thing here um, is called a line output transformer. And, um, you know, they don't really make them anymore. So even though this is just a big, messy pile of junk, um, things like that could be of use to people. Um, there's other components on these things called, too. Um, things like sort of um, chopping transistors, uh, coils, and all sorts of things um, that sometimes now are, are not made. Um, they could be of use. Um, I don't know what TV this is, but it's got a battery in there. So it's obviously something that could store the um, channel settings and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I'm going to say sadly the tube is gone. That's if you want to see what's inside. Uh, the gun of a CRT uh, come off. Um, it's quite incredible that I'm getting glass everywhere. Oh, that's tight. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I'll cut myself. Um, but it's quite incredible how they work. Um, so you've got the RGB um, guns at the back there. Um, yeah, can't get that one out. Um, so this is a, that's a Philips tube. Or at least was. Um, anyway, so I mean, some of them look fairly complete. Um, others are just bits and pieces. Um, there's a Pi teletext one there, but the the case is all shot. I mean, this has got wet um, and it's coming apart there. But I mean, the TV. Who knows? It might work. That the the, uh, the speaker grills are all a bit. Um, uh, rusted uh, little Beko, cute little Beko thing there. I like the logo on that one. Color Television Space Master. Um, again, dirty, but that will probably clean up. Um, don't know what this one is. That's a Panasonic. Um, early Panasonic. Uh, little Pi. Is that Pi Rambler? I think so, something like that. Uh, Granada one there, but again, the Granada one, the back of the. Well, sorry, the bottom of the TV is completely wrecked. Um, Sony Trinitron there. Um, more complete disasters. Don't know what that is, but it's not even up the right way. Um, another Sony. Uh, Alba. That would have been nice. Toshiba. Hello, Tosh. Got a Toshiba. Um, Solora one there, rusted to death. Real shame, it breaks my heart to see all this stuff like this. Uh, that tube's smashed, you can see it's smashed from the front there. We'll just get rid of it. That's what happens to the front when, uh, when the back of the tube gets smashed. Because when if you smash a tube, um, then uh, the vacuum obviously escapes. Actually, does the vacuum escape or does air rush in? One of the two. Um, and uh, yeah. And it just takes all the phosphor off the front of the screen with it, and that's what it does. Uh, yeah. Um, 
there's some others over here that I have put aside some of this stuff already that I think is sort of vaguely complete. Um, little Phillips one there, it's nice. Big old Zenith one. Um, I've noticed quite a few of these are uh, American. So they run on uh, 120 volts, um, or 110 volt, whatever. Um, and uh, and we'll take an NTSC signal, so that's a bit of a problem. This is a really nice big Sony thing there with big handles uh, to, to carry it. But all the, the casing is shot um, and coming apart. The, um, it would have had a, a wood or a black surround, I don't know. Um, so that's all being nice bang and I've got a couple of these. Uh, 7700, I think, or something. Oh, 7100, I can't remember. Um, but... Yeah, that one again is not in the best of condition. Um, or mine taking that one, so uh, I've got spare parts for mine. Little Matsui TV there, I used to have one of these. My mum bought me one uh, to go with my Vic 20, bless her. Um, but uh, yeah, I was gutted because it didn't have SCART on the back. Uh, well, not SCART, just a video input. Uh, that's all I, I wanted at the time. Um, but it didn't, and I think the, the man in Dixon's or Curry's. Dixon's, I think, probably said, oh, yeah, of course it does. I've got one of these at home, you know. You know I swear by them, as they, uh, as they say. Um, Ferguson TX over there, a bit of the thing coming off around the side of it. Um, don't know what that one is. Ferguson at the back there. Interesting sort of all-in-one um, unit there. I think that's Fidelity or something like that. That video recorder at the bottom um, is actually a separate video recorder. It just sits in a tray. Um, you can see at the back there's a little metal plate holding it on. Uh, Ferguson again, Telefunken, Sony, massive, great big thing here. This this has a door that goes across the front of the screen. Um, really nice, look at that, that's awesome. Um, Saba, colour... Commander, colour commander, um, but that's all shot down the back there. That's all the broken. Um, that's uh, sorry, maybe a Ferguson or something. Oh no, that's the um, the Regus one, um, which is a rebrand of a uh, Red Fusion, I think. Another Telefunken there, the whatever it is on its side there. Oh, low. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a pricey telly back in the day, low TVs. Well, there are a couple of um, flat screens as well and other bits and pieces. But look at it all. I mean, it is just so much of it. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to take some of these um, because I can make use of them. I don't know whether they work at all. I mean, they're, they're probably going to need quite a bit of um, TLC drying them out. I mean, it's dry in here, but obviously it's, it's been damp. Um, some of these, I think, have been moved here um, recently. I, th there is a quite an amazing story to all this lot. Um, I won't go on too, into online. Um, but basically, we just need to kind of clear them. Um, otherwise, they're just going to go to scrap and be, uh, you know, smashed up for the parts and things. Now, some of them, don't get me wrong, that's what they, they need. They are well beyond... Um, any uh, kind of getting them back together again. But some of them possibly aren't. Um, that's a Magnavox monitor there on its side. Magnavox is the American rebrand of Philips. Um, so, uh, yeah, some of these possibly are rescuable. So if there's anybody out there that is interested in helping sort of preserve i guess some of these machines or tvs um let me know um i'll set up an email address uh on the website um probably crt at computing history or something uh or i'll put it in the um the text below um and uh drop us a line if you get a bounce back that just says they're no longer available then uh well they're no longer available but it would be really nice if we could you know, save parts from these or, you know, get them going again. Uh, I know a few people that are into restoring old TV, so there is help out there that I can point you in the right direction. Um, but, you know, otherwise these are all going to uh, end up getting smashed up, which is a real shame. 
So there you go. Um, that's a TV mountain. It's quite incredible. I've never seen a pile quite like this. And when I was told that there was a lot of old CRT TVs, I didn't imagine that it would be this quantity. Um, quite amazing. So I'm going to have a sort through um, and uh, get some of these sort of put aside if I think that they might be salvageable. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have an interest, do let me know. Um, I mean, I, I do have to say, messing around with old TVs is not a safe thing to do. Um, hmm, that one's all melted. What's happened there? Um, it, you know, these things, when they're working, generate anything from sort of 9,000 for a, uh, a black and white TV to sort of, I don't know, 26, 27,000 volts um, on the back of the tube. So these are not to be played with if you don't know what you're doing. Um, they you know they can kill so i just want to make that clear to everybody but um and and these especially so actually because they have been damp um who knows what um they will do if you try to connect them up i mean like, things like this again the tube is necked on this one so um there is no way this one is ever going to work again which is a shame for old fergie tx <laughs> the um the line i put transformer is missing on this one completely um it's quite a heavy item, so it's probably yanked off. It's probably inside somewhere, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they, these are not for playing with by people that don't know anything about TVs. But if you do, or you know somebody that does, this could be an amazing source and probably one of the last few around uh, of the components needed to keep other ones going. So I'd really like to see if we can't make the most of this and preserve what we can um, and, you know, save the planet and all that. Let's not see this stuff go into landfill and uh, ruin everything. Let's see what we can do to to save them. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, uh, I don't know whether it's worth going into detail of all these different screens. Um, I really don't know. In terms of costs, we've got to try and get them back to the museum. Um, this place is about an hour away. Um, you know, we've got a loot and van that we can use. We can... Uh, uh, come and get them but we can't store them you know there's just too much so uh, I think you know if we can cover the costs of coming to get this stuff a little bit um, maybe a little donation to the museum even if you uh, feel so inclined that would be appreciated um, I don't know um, but you know ideally if somebody can help us take them in numbers in quantity you know like a boot full or something uh, could be good projects to to get going and stuff i mean there's uh, it just keeps going down and down there are screens on top of screens which is a bit of a shame but um and some of them have got cracked cases you can see that one there but yeah what i might do is i'll um i'll drug some out and, and take some pictures as well um some are better than others but there you go that's um tv mountain so i've just done a little move around of uh some of the screen so we can see them a little better so we've got a little sony um and i think it's a ferguson the one next to it um things look vaguely complete a bit rusty oh the back is coming off of that one but uh alba and a goodman's there that's not that old the yeah, alba's got a little um, vhs player built into it um a protective screen over the front so actually if you took that protective screen off the front actually the screen behind is probably in pretty good nick only small though kind of cute um, Granada colour there and a Hitachi um, controls panels missing off there rusty screen um, and some earth on the front of that screen uh, at least you know it's well earthed <laughs> uh, a little electronics gag for you um, Pi TV there and a Fidelity again the back of that one's looking like it's coming away um, and that's looking like it's had something rust all over it a uh, couple of computer monitors. One says Honeywell Ball, um, but actually it's just a uh, rebranded Philips uh, computer monitor 80 um, with a original Philips one next to it. Um, it says here, service department. Uh, looks kind of military-ish to me. Can't quite see without my glasses, but that case is coming apart. Um, then we have an Osaki and a Ferguson. And over here, Quintrix, which is, um, says National at the bottom, but uh, National was Panasonic's 
uh, brand as well, or was the same as, uh, Grundig. That's not a bad TV, really. That's in not too bad a nick. Lovely touch panels here. Um, so to turn it over, you just have to touch them. There's no moving parts. Kind of cool. Um, was all the rage at one point. Um, controls seem to be vaguely okay. It's a little bit split apart on that one. Um, over here, we've got a Triumph TV. Kind of classic 80s look to that one. Little buttons at the bottom. Uh, that was really new. That's got a uh, DVD player built in. HCT, don't know what brand that is. Big old Sony. That one there, that one seems vaguely complete. The sides are a little bit uh, puffy, but the back's on it. Um, it's got video input, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, that one might clean up okay. Cassette player and, and uh, radio and TV all built in uh, to that thing there. That's an Audio Sonic. Um, it's got leaves in the uh, tape deck there. I'll just leave them alone. <laughs> um, Hitachi TV. I used to have one of these in the 90s. Uh, and they were really cool. This is cracked on the top. Tries a lot of this has been just dumped, which is a real shame. Uh, don't know what that is. I'm going to say it's a Grundig um, Panasonic there. Really probably would clean up well apart from that speaker down there but the speakers are there there's these little metal grills holes in obviously let sound out um but they usually just kind of clip in um if you get inside it you can usually bend the little pins and, and get them out um give it a bit of a brush and everything and who knows it might uh, come up all right uh panasonic video monitor there um something heavy has been standing on that it's collapsed it a little bit um looks like a trinitron on there so that's sony um tube's got in that though shame aoc now i didn't know that aoc made tvs but that's yeah an old aoc tv where you can just tune it in um with the channels there and uhf so that does uhf and vhf which is pretty cool doesn't look in too bad a condition uh, another um ferguson tx there i think i already had one of those out actually um a little bit of an old hitachi at the back there don't know what that is yet and we've got that far Toshiba, something else busted, something on its front, something completely busted, an Acura one, um, and another unbranded one, that possibly a Sony, uh, can't really see, oh, I'm betting that's a Sony, not sure, um, Sanyo TV there, again might clean up okay, it would, doesn't look too bad at the sides, but it's just that grill and the panel, I mean you might be able to Give it some TLC and get it looking nicer. Hitachi there. Big old Panasonic Quintrix. It's had a massive knock there. Tube looks okay though. Um, these are good TVs. I had one of these. Um, paid a fortune for it when I first got a DVD player. <laughs> um, the box was so big it wouldn't look th uh, fit through the front door. Um, and my neighbours thought I was unpacking it on the pavement outside just to show off and they hated me. Um, but it wasn't, it really, it just didn't actually fit through the door. True story. Um, Finlux TV there. They were hired out by lots of uh, TV hire companies uh, in the 80s. Uh, Packard Bell monitor, VGA, I assume. Pi Studio Color. Again, that one looks fairly complete. Might clean up okay. Uh, Sony Trinitron, that's been smashed about something chronic. The internals might be okay, I don't know. Um, shame about that, I like that one. Um, another Ferguson TX, really popular TVs, uh, old Fergies. Um, I have a set there, I think this is mostly junk. Um, that case is completely coming apart. But the TV itself looks okay, might be a Pi or um, maybe a Philips, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, just, um, just by moving these out a little bit, gives you a bit more of an idea about these TVs haven't got to this pile again yet um, but there's a lot of real damage over here so um, there you go maybe we can do a TV program um, like the repair shop just all about monitors and TVs and things <laughs> anyway um, thanks for watching and uh, I'm gonna start shifting some more of this stuff uh, and yeah see what we can uh, rescue okay see you again all right.